So in this video, I wanted to do uh, redo this question from November 2019, paper 2.2. Two. Um, this was a mistake that I made in the main video. And thank you for my subscriber, Afra Elshad, for pointing this out. So I will definitely uh, re-explain on how to find those values. So first one is, we have this set of integers from 1 to 16. So what we need to do is to first list all the elements in this set. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, now A is even number. So from this set, even number will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, so 16, we stop at 16, right? Now B will be square number, that will be uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, square numbers. And now for C, it has to be factor of 100. So what are the factors of 100? As we know, it is 1, we have 2, we have 4, we have 5, uh, we have 10, and that should be about it. So we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10. Okay, that is the set A, B, and C. Now, part 1, complete the Venn diagram. So what is common with all those three? As you can see here, we have 4, 4, 4. So 4 is common is on all those three sets. That's the first step. Now, what is common between A and B? A and B has 16 in common. So 16 will be right here. Now, what is common between B and C? B and C has 1 in common. Also has, that is only 1. Now, A and C has, uh, we have 2. We have 4 is okay. Uh, we have 2 in common. We have 10 in common. And that's it, right. And the rest will be just outside. So A will be what? 2, 4, 6. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and that's it for A. For B will be 1, 4, 16, 9. So C will be, here we have 1, 2, 4, 5. Okay, so that will be a set A, B, and C. Now, what is outside of these sets? So let's see. We have 1 is here, 2, so 3 we don't have. Uh, 4 is here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 will be right here, 15. Okay, so in total we need to have, so here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 numbers in total. So here we need to have 16 numbers as well. So let's double check. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this matches. So this means this is your set, which is good. But the mistake I made was in this section. So it says find the number of elements of A prime union B. So what is this set? So if you were to draw A, let's say A, we have A, B, and C. This is A, B, and C. So what is A prime? A prime is everything outside, everything outside of A, right? A prime. Now, we have to union B. Where is B? B is this one. Right, this is B. So basically, we have to find all the values outside of A plus the values of B. So basically, you will have A union B is your set. 16, 4, you have to add this to, and then 9, 1, 5, 3, 7, 11, 13, 15. So now we have to find the number of elements, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Your answer is 10. I think I put 7, which is not good. It should be 10. Okay, so my only mistake was this set I did not 
shade the correct set so this should be these values and the number should be 10 and not 7. Now for part 3 we have we know that p is inside of a intersecting c write down the values of p so what is a and c as you can see a and c will be this one it is it can be a 2 10 or 4 this will be the values of p and that is the question that i wanted to clarify as always if you guys have any questions if you guys see any mistakes leave a comment down below I will always get back to you guys with the explanation. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.